everybody is staying safe and healthy and keeping social distances <laughs> apart from each other. So I am um, right now not working, just with the whole virus and being pregnant and everything. I just felt it was safest to be self-quarantining at home and decided to film my collection of face mists my little box of foundations and setting powders. So yeah, I just, um, it's not a declutter. It's just to kind of show you how much I have, what I have, and maybe if I find an excess of too many that I do not think I will use, I will list on my Mercari account. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and um, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with foundations first. As you can tell, this is probably the least amount of a makeup item that I have in my collection. I just never really was one to wear foundations or um, do like a full face of makeup or anything. So, I mean, I've kind of got probably too many than I really need because I really don't wear foundation every single day, maybe just a few times a year. But, you know, when new ones come out, they did um, kind of intrigue me. So I did purchase a few full size to check out and um you know I do like when I do wear it um the way it makes you know a nice kind of even canvas of your skin tone and everything but yeah I really just haven't purchased a lot of foundations which is a good thing um I do have a two concealers I guess I'll mention um because like I said I don't wear foundation or concealer too much um this is the latest newest concealer I've purchased which is the Shiseido concealer and this is the shade um, 201 light Claire. um i do like this concealer it's very uh i think it does cover well um without feeling too heavy or cakey um but like i said i don't really wear concealer too much i also have this concealer kind of touch-up pen which is by airborean um a korean brand in claire and it's a fine concealer, but look how messy the packaging is. Um, yeah, it's like you uh, hit this at the bottom to squirt some at the top, and it just gets so freaking messy and gross. So I do not like that, unfortunately, um, just for the application. Um, I do have this BB Creme by Airborian, um, which is also in... This is, I think, the medium shade Dore. Um, I do like this BB creme. It's kind of more of a lightweight tinted moisturizer, tinted moisturizer rather than um, a full-on foundation. So I do like this type a lot. And I got the Chanel Le Beige. I think this came out last year, um, last spring or so. And as you can tell, I haven't used it too much. The few times I have used it, I really did like it. It's very lightweight. It does seem kind of watery, thin consistency, but when you apply it, it just gives like this kind of very natural look to your face that doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, but it just makes it kind of flawless and even. So I really did like this, but um, I'm not sure if it broke me out or not. This is the shade Medium Light, so I probably should try it again to see if it was the cause of breakouts because it does have a fragrance to it my skin usually isn't that sensitive but i'm not sure if this was the cause or not <laughs> but i do like that a lot um of course i had to get oh this be shaken the dior backstage um foundation when this first released i do like this a lot this is the shade 2.5 n i do think that the shades are darker than what they appear online um i almost bought like a full shade darker than this but then like luckily i saw some swatches and went with this shade but i think i hate how messy it is with the squeezy tube i wish i had a pump um but i do think it is probably a little bit darker still for me right now um and could have gone down a little bit lighter in that shade I have the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I really do like this foundation a lot too. This is the shade 4. Um, right, ooh, it looks like something's leaking in there. It does look like um, this probably is a little bit darker. Oh, let's see. 
This is why I have a towel on my bed. Um, so that is also a squeezy tube one that just kind of squirts out, probably because I shook it. Got everywhere. So foundations need to, companies need to realize to stop making such messy dispensers. But um, yeah, this is also a nice foundation, but I think it also is probably too dark for me right now. I live in Arizona, but I don't know. I'm just not getting that much sun, I guess. <laughs> Here is the Beauty Blender foundation. Um, this packaging is very unique. <laughs> this is the Bounce um, Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation in the shade 3.20. So I think you move this and then you, when you press it, it will dispense and you could tap your Beauty Blender in this like little divot and apply it and then you lock it so it doesn't dispense by accident. Um, I do like this. I don't think it's, you know, super heavy or full coverage because I don't really tend to go for a full coverage foundation. So I did um, really enjoy this foundation a lot. I also got this, um, the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Um, when I was dabbling in foundations, this was one of the ones that I decided to try because there was a lot of good reviews on it. This, this is the shade G30. And uh, yeah, I do really like this one too. Like I said, I don't feel like it feels too heavy or anything. This is also a squeezy tube that I should get rid of. Um, for my birthday last year in Vegas, I purchased a couple more foundations in Sephora. I decided to get the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I really do like this one. This is shade 6.5 medium. Um, I was surprised I was like this shade. I mean, now I probably am a little bit too light for it, but I really do uh, like that one. And of course, I had to get the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish Foundation that released when it was new. Uh, everybody was going nuts over, you know, her new foundation, concealer, powder, everything um, line that she released. And so I had to pick this up, but it was very hard to know what shade I was, so I had to go in store and swatch a bunch, and I finally settled on light medium nine. Um, and I'm wondering if that's too dark again, but at least this has a pump. It's a very luxurious packaging, of course, with her line, and so um, I don't know if it's really worth the price tag, but <laughs> it is a very nice luxury item to have. This is an interesting product. It's the Kevin O'Quan foundation balm so i know there's been a lot of mixed reviews for this one this is medium 5.5 um so i've tapped into that um so it's a balm that you know you could use your brush or beauty blender in um and i don't know some people thought it was too heavy and cakey clinging to dry spots i didn't completely find that true on my skin but I do think that um, there were a couple spots that I did notice that seemed to uh, draw attention to it um, but I don't think it was like a huge negative like overall did not like this at all but um, I, I mean I enjoy it so I still have it but yeah, <laughs> that's my thoughts on that. And then I have a few of these uh, samples that I got in like Sephora Plays and everything that I've just kept but haven't tried yet. This is the Tarte Found Foundsealer, which is kind of like a foundation and concealer um, in the shade 22B Light Beige. So I wanted to try this one and give it a go. I also have the Fenty... Uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation in the shade, I think it's just shade 210, it doesn't have a name anywhere else, but um, I tend to have oily skin, so anything that's matte, and I heard that the Fenty Foundation is super matte, um, so I'm glad I just have like a sample size to try out of this. I got the Anastasia um, Foundation Stick, and this is the shade Banana. So it's just a little guy there, but I thought I would try that, just to try a foundation stick. I have the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer 
So this is supposed to be kind of a lightweight thinner coverage as well in the shade 7. So I don't really know if that shade is going to work, but it's just a mini sample. I have the YSL All Hours Foundation in the shade Ivory. So I really don't know if this would actually be my shade or not. Let's see. Well, this actually looks like it could work. Yeah, that might work for my skin tone right now. So give that a go. Oh, it's very, very perfumed. I have this little Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Natural 11. So that cute little guy. This Makeup Forever H Ultra HD Foundation in Y245. I don't know, that might be a little too dark, but we'll see. I have a little Dr. Jart BB cream. Um, so just try that. And then last is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. And this little one in shade 310 Bisque. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's pretty much all of my foundations. And like I said, two concealers. And I'm going to try and not purchase more but you never know what's a new product that might catch my eye so i might try it <laughs> so let's go on to setting powders okay so these are my setting powders i love setting powders i have way too many to ever really use all of them because it takes forever to use one and um i've noticed with my pregnancy that my skin hasn't really been too oily and so i've kind of slacked off on using setting powder every single day so yeah it's gonna take a while <laughs> um to use these so but i just i don't know if i see a setting powder that i want to try i just buy it um right now i'm currently using or trying to use the anastasia loose setting powder in the shade banana um this is huge <laughs> So, but it has a little sister and I do like this powder. It doesn't look cakey or drying or anything. Um, but yeah, that's a huge one that will take me probably forever to get through. Um, and then I have a lot of samples and everything. I have this, the Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder. Like I said, um, usually for my oily skin, I'll get something that's more mattifying. Um, so this is supposed to be mattifying, but I have not used this yet. And yeah, it's still sealed. Let me see here. It does have that peach kind of fig scent, but I like that scent. So everybody seems to rave about this one. So I can't wait to try that. Um, let's see. I just recently got this setting powder by Co Cogendo. Um, this is the natural lighting powder. I really do like their products a lot, but it is kind of on the pricier side, but you get a nice little poof with it, and it's still sealed. I don't know if there was multiple shades of this or not. Um, this is supposed to, I think, I don't know if this is supposed to be the translucent one or one of the shades, but um, it does look pretty dark, but I'm sure it doesn't really translate once applied. I got the Decorte, uh powder. This is a brand that's sold on Saks. I don't really know if it's sold on another website right now, but um, this is the translucent powder and I just love their packaging. It's so gorgeous and luxe and you get a little poof with that and it's sealed. So I just wanted to get that to try. I got this milk makeup. Um, it's supposed to be blurring or not, but it's the translucent light. So I got this, I think, during one of the Sephora sales. It also comes with a little sponge and sealed and everything so I like it when they seal it so you have time before you actually need to use it I've had this Marc Jacobs one in a set that I received um, that I just haven't broken out to open yet but this is the invisible finish line powder and it just it's also sealed I love the packaging it's so pretty and white and it's just oh. I prefer loose setting powders over pressed ones but i do have you know a lot of pressed ones here as well this is the rms um powder in it's the tinted unpowder in two three so i think this is a shade which does look a little dark 
but it's sealed, but yeah, it's, this one's a little dark, we'll see. And then I have the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I believe this was like a gift with purchase or something, but I did have the glow powder, which um, I found too glowy for a set, all over setting powder. I think, um, you know, the translucent one would be more suitable for how I would use it. The, the glow powder I think is definitely for one that maybe should only target certain areas that they highlight on their face and unless you really like that all over glowy look <laughs> um, to use all over the face but this is their you know holy grail translucent powder that everybody seems to have I have the cover FX light powder this is like kind of a deluxe sample I believe so I have that here is the lawless um, loose setting powder I've got this at Sephora so I haven't tried this yet yeah, it's sealed. So I don't have too many products by Lawless, so I'm interested to try this. I have the Jeffree Star setting powder. Um, just wanted to try this, uh, and since it was sold out for like a while and it finally came back in stock, I decided to get the shade beige. And it has like a little sifter that you can move. I think that packaging is really cute. I have the Ciate London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. This came, I think, in a set. Um, I don't know. I haven't used it yet, but I don't know. It looks very white, so I don't... I hope it doesn't have a white cast or anything. I might just list this on Mercari since it is still sealed and I have way too many powders to go through. <laughs> so that might go on my Mercari. I have this Essence Loose Setting Powder and Banana. Um, just an affordable drugstore option that was on Ulta, but I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I have a couple of the Hourglass um, Veil translucent powders. I know everybody was like going crazy for this powder when it first released. I have yet to try it, but as you can tell, I do have the sample sizes to test out when I do. Actually, this this is the sample size. This might be just their mini size that maybe maybe I purchased it. I don't remember. So that's how long ago it was. Um, a little baby sample of the Stellar setting powder, Cosmic Face Powder Haze. I don't know, maybe I'll list that also on Mercari with a couple things. Here's just a little baby Laura Mercier translucent powder as well. They're just so cute. Bare minerals, mineral veil. Sometimes I'll just um bring these with me when I, you know ever travel again <laughs> uh, and the makeup forever HD powder a little sample of that I have this Rhode Isle or Rhode Isle I don't know how you pronounce it um, banana powder this I got a long time ago but I don't think I've used it yet yeah so it's just a pressed powder all over this is a little Bessonne powder in yeah it's lavender but, but it won't really show up as lavender on the face. I think it's supposed to help with redness. Um, but I think just looking all over powder or whenever you have some shiny moments. Of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is shade 1 in Fair. I haven't even used that yet, but everybody's holy grail as well. This is supposed to be an all-over face powder, but I don't really know how. It's a pearl matte face powder by MAC um, Trophy. So I just thought the print was really cute. And you're supposed to... I have two, so that's why I have this one in my um, everyday drawer. But uh, yeah, I don't really know how this would be a face powder with the pink and whatnot. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know if I'll use that or not. This Revolution Pro Hydra Matte, so like I said, anything matte, I just wanted to try, and that is still sealed. I have the number seven, Translucent Perfect Light. This is a drugstore option. Um, I think when I found this brand at my Walgreens, uh, I heard some good reviews about like their bronzer and stuff, so I decided to try the face powder as well. 
I have this Chanel Le Beige in light. So I think this is supposed to be kind of like a bronzer, but I also think when I was really tan, I thought I could use it more as a face powder as well. So, um, yeah, I think it might be too light for a bronzer really. So I think an all over face powder is why I put it in this drawer. I have this Els Foss Glow Down Powder. Um, it's a brand that you don't really hear too often. She is sold on Beautylish, but, or he, I don't know. Um, and then they started selling them on Neiman's. And so when I got this, this is more like the refill, not the actual compact that I was supposed to get. So that was kind of disappointing, but you know, Neiman's did fix that. Um, and it's supposed to be, yeah, like a glow down powder. So if you're feeling shiny, you know, use it like a pressed powder. But I do find that it's super cakey, very thick. So it's actually kind of more like a powder foundation almost, in my opinion. I think it's um, very, very heavy. Even if you just like tap it and, and use it lightly, it does seem very heavy. So that was kind of not what I bought it for. And then last is the Jouer um, Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in Light. I haven't used that yet, but everybody says this is a really nice powder. And I was thinking of actually getting one of the darker shades maybe to use as a bronzer as well, but I probably should wait since I haven't used that yet. And those are all of my powders. Too many. So let's move over to my setting sprays, which I also have way too many. Um, but yeah, I just can't help wanting to try a new setting spray. So let's just start here at the bottom. I have Jurlique, which is the Sweet Violet and Grapefruit Hydrating Mist. Um, Jurlique really isn't a brand that you see around anymore. I remember seeing them on Sephora, but I don't really know if they're there anymore. But they have um, a rose one, but when I heard that they had this violet and uh, grapefruit which I just love those scents I just had to get it and I haven't used it yet and the bottle is just so pretty in this purple so yeah <laughs> it's very luxurious and heavy feeling and then this is the one that they're usually known for which is the um, rose water balancing mist and it just smells so lovely this little bottle yeah it smells like roses and it's just divine. Um, I have this Volition Oil Controlling Mattifying Mist, um, so I haven't tried that yet, but it's mattifying. This is, I think it sold at Ulta, Little Barn Apothecary Coconut and Mint Cooling Mineral Mist. Um, I love anything mint, so I just thought I would try that eventually. This is the Omo Revisa um, Queen of Hungary mist. This came in a set, so I love their um, Hungarian clay mask for acne. So uh, when I saw this was also in the set, I thought, yeah, I'd give it a go. This is, I don't know, Oxalis Apothecary Mineral Mist, Jasmine and Coconut. It kind of got a little discolored there, but I haven't tried it yet. It's supposed to be like either all over face and body and even for your hair, so... That's interesting. Uh, when I was at Sephora for my birthday in Vegas, um, I tried this Cotele, uh glowing mist or whatever, but you know, I'm not usually one to like glowing products. I'm trying to mattify my skin, but the way that this sprayed out and it's just like so luxurious and smelled great, so I was just like, couldn't resist and bought <laughs> this for kind of a ridiculous price, I think, but mm, it smells good though. It smells like you're at a spa. Um, and then I had to get the Anastasia Dewy Set Mist. Um, I don't know, part of me just wanted to get this one. <laughs> this was a gift with purchased Jane Iredale um, Palmist Hydration Spray. This was from an Ulta gift with purchase and it's like full size. Um, Jane Iredale actually started her company, I believe, um, in my hometown in Massachusetts. So they're based out of there. And so that was 
nice to see that her products are being sold in all these huge stores. Um, I have tons of MAC. So first is the MAC Fix Plus Matte Spray. So I had to try this, of course, because it's matte. I had to get this one because it's the special cherry blossom packaging. So I have not used that um, because it's just so pretty. And then I have a ton of these mini MAC ones. Um, like here, this is one of their sets that they released for holiday. Um, I think it's their different scents here. I don't even remember. I think Rose Lavender. I don't remember what that one is. Coconut? Yeah, coconut. So that was just one of their little sets. I probably will eventually use it. But I do have all of these mini ones also. So I have this one in Rose. This one in the Watermelon when they were releasing those special scents. Here's another coconut. Oh, this probably is the same set, just not without the box. Um, so I probably could sell that. Um, this is lavender, pineapple. This is the peony, very pretty packaging, and the cucumber. And then these, yeah, another rose one. And another lavender one. So I don't know why I bought so many doubles. Maybe I thought they were limited edition and I was gonna like miss out. <laughs> but yeah, since I have so many of those, I'll probably sell the holiday set. <clears> on <throat> Mercari. I have a couple of Mario Badescu's um, facial sprays. This is the cucumber and green tea. And then this one is the rose water and aloe and I have this Pacifica one pineapple flower oil free matte mist um, so I love anything pineapple here is an I heart revolution in peaches and cream I have this pixie hydrating milky mist that I've been using so almost used up it just feels very hydrating the mister is super fine and nice on these so i really like that that i bought a backup of it as well as some of their other ones so here's the full size backup i have this the makeup fixing mist and then the vitamin makeup mist that i've used a little bit of but i think the hydrating mist has the best mister and and overall feeling that i like more out of all of these I have the Morphe Jeffree Star um, Set and Refresh Mist. I've never tried the original Morphe Mist, um, but when I saw this pink one by Jeffree Star, I decided to try this. I heard it's really good, so I'll give that a go. I have the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. I, I got this a while ago, so I haven't even broken it out yet. You know, I'm crazy. But yeah, full size of that. I still have yet to use. I really want to try their um, the peach setting mist. And I think they have a new one too. Maybe like a watermelon one. I'm not sure. But I really want to try those too. This I bought on a splurge during the Sephora sales. The Guerlain Gold Mist. <laughs> it just sounded so luxurious. And I don't know. I was like, oh, if I could get it on sale, why not? And I did. And probably shouldn't have. But... I have this, yep. <laughs> some re for some reason, I wanted to try this um, by Clarins. It's not a brand I usually try too much of, um, but it was a Fix Makeup Mist, also on Ulta, so I decided to get this. I've been using this one. It's the um, First Aid Beauty Vital Greens Face Mist. Um, so it's green, and it's just supposed to be, like, refreshing and good overall for your skin so yeah I mean I haven't noticed anything different but I'm using that I have a full size of the Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice um, spray I think this was like maybe half off or something from Ulta so I decided to get a full size but I have tons of minis um, right now this one's almost gone so I'm trying to keep that one to the side to use that one up but I have all these little minis all-nighters that you get with like this with purchase and the quick fix 
I really probably don't need all of these. <laughs> I have this Ulta Matte Setting Spray. That was probably a gift with purchase. The Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. That was with um, a little gift set. The Saturday Skin Daily Dew Hydrating Essence Mist. I haven't tried too much by Saturday Skin, so I wanted to give that a go. The Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. So um, I think this is a new product, so I wanted to try that. This is Little Barn Aloe and Rose Water Balancing Mist. I think this was also a gift with purchase. This is the Chlorine Anti Pollution Purifying Mist. I think this was in a Sephora Play, so I thought that just sounded kind of nice and refreshing. The Bare Minerals Dew Mist. I don't know if I should try that or not since it's supposed to be dewy. Uh, this one, I really am tempted to buy full size, but I should try this one first. It's the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Water. Um, I've heard I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. Um, part of me really wants the full size, but I have the mini. I should try the mini first. It's kind of pricey for the full size. And then I have two of the Makeup Forever Mist and Fixes, which I didn't realize I had two of, so I probably can get rid of one. Yeah, that to give a go. So yeah, that is all of my foundations, setting powders, and setting mists. Um, way too many, but like I said, it's, you know life of a makeup collector hoarder <laughs> so I hope you guys are staying safe I have been uh, taking a leave from work right now just because I don't feel comfortable right now going in um, while the whole coronavirus is going on and being pregnant and just trying to do what's best for me and my unborn baby right now um, but yeah it's been relaxing but kind of boring too not being able to go anywhere um and not feeling very motivated to film <laughs> but i decided to finally take all of this out and do this video so hopefully it will jump start me to filming more since i do have you know weeks off <laughs> at this time so might as well put it to use and do some productive stuff but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye